good morning we're so happy that you're here we get daily vlog so if you like this video please come back tomorrow if you did not watch yesterday's vlog until the end you wouldn't know that Evie got into some Hershey kisses last night and when I mean some I mean an entire vat Jamesy's like trying to jump Oh gosh. So it was very unlike her. She actually opened up a fresh bag. Like she does, like she's like, we always say she's a bad hunter. Anyways, Peter came out after bedtime to find her um, laying on the ground, like just like relaxing, but there was tin foil everywhere. So um, brought her to the vet. They induced vomiting but the amount in her blood was just dangerously toxic, so they had her admitted um, into a hospital. Their hospital was full, so Peter had to drive 45 minutes in negative 10 degree weather. Um, but she got there and she's being monitored, and we still have not heard an update this morning. <laughs> other, other events, the boys woke up. I don't know if they could just sense something was, was off, but they woke up, so when Peter walked in the door at 4 a.m., we were just like playing in the living room. And keeping keeping the peace until he got here and we could like figure it out. So we slept until 9:30 when there was a knock at our door because our maintenance was coming in to fix one of our heaters or to take a look at it because our bedroom dropped to like 53 degrees overnight, which is not okay. And so I had messaged in the portal um, that it was really really cold. Um, but it was manageable, like added some extra layers, like we were all right, and Jamesy's room was like super hot. Um, but that's reality with the, the type of heating that we have. And so, I didn't get any wrapping done last night. Um, and we're kind of out of sorts. So we're gonna gather ourselves and get the day started because it's Christmas Eve Eve. We got some good news. Just got a call from the vet. Hey. Eve's heart rate and blood pressure have been fine and normal all night and all morning, so she has no reason to believe that she shouldn't just be able to come home. So um, Sarah's getting herself ready for the day, and then when she's done, I'm gonna go hop in the car and drive, because it's like an hour away with the, the condition of the roads. Um, I can't really go 65 on the Dan Ryan when it's covered in snow and ice and there's high winds. So, um, I'll be low and slow to get there safe. Look at this kid back here. I look over, like, I started organizing the, the living room, like, trying to get stuff that doesn't belong in here. And then he's just back there reading some books. Our tree, I'm seeing the signs because I love Christmas trees, but there's, like, signs on some of these branches that we've not been watering it. Which is, there's logic behind it. We leave for Florida shortly after the new year. So I want to make sure that the base of that tree is dry when we go do it. Because we, we should probably take it down before we go to Florida because we won't be back until like the 16th or 17th of January. So we should really, we usually would keep our tree up longer, but we, it's a real tree. So we should probably like de-decorate it and get, get rid of it pretty quickly. Um, might even be before the new year. I'm fresh. Um, I tried getting all the stuff in the living room that's not supposed to be in the living room. Uh -huh. And put it kind of where it's supposed to go. Like our you. bedroom's a mess right now. It's so, good. It's just good. Yeah. Well, it's 10 degrees warmer than it was 12 hours ago when I was here. I'm ready to put it in the girl. My festive wrapping area, a little disheveled. I'm starting to feel the lack of sleep, but 
I'm being fueled by Christmas magic. Um, I got to edit yesterday's vlog. While Peter was gone, I was able to do a couple of things around the house. And when we say we're hosting Christmas Eve tomorrow, it's just my sisters and their family. So it's not like a huge shindig. They're also very understanding. So if we don't get everything done. Um, but it's mostly that. And just like cleaning when the maintenance people came through today they tracked a lot of salt which is totally fine it's in the name of the game um in chicago right now and especially if you need help with your heat and just to think like we're adding more toys to this that's that's the biggest thing that we have to tackle for sure okay so james is still sleeping but teddy woke up from his nap so i wasn't going to be super productive but Sarah's editing the vlog. It's gonna be a fun one. But Karen and Kayla sent us a little gift today. Check these out. So they ordered these from Crumble, which is a very delicious cookie joint. I already snacked on some. That's like a snickerdoodle. That's like a peanut butter chocolate chip. That looks like s'mores. That looks divinity. That looks divinity. That looks like a chocolate white chip macadamia. We're about to max on these. If you have never seen it, give Chef the Chef on Netflix a, a, a whirl. It's a really good show. Sarah has not seen these cookies yet. <laughs> what one should I eat? I don't know. Let's start manging now. Come on, this one. All right, I'm getting the kitchen somewhat ready for the party. We're going to have, like, we moved all of our appliances into different spots. So we're gonna have this 100% cleared because we're actually getting I Dream of Falafel catered tomorrow. Um, so this is like, we're gonna have this here. I need to clear this. Cause like, we're gonna have like drinky stuff here, the food stuff here. This is the Glunheim I got, but they didn't have like normal Glunheim. They only had this cherry. So I think I need to do a taste test to make sure what we're giving our guests tomorrow is sufficient. That is some hot Glunheim. Gonna let it chill for a moment. I'm actually gonna get the humidifier in James's room going. We'll explain that in a little bit. Don't even know the last time we updated, but our apartment complex gave us a, a space heater, is that what it's called? Um, still pretty darn cold in here, but they're being accommodating. Teddy's asleep for the night. I actually had an allergic reaction to Eve, which is just, she was gone for 12 hours. Um, but that's feeling better. And basically now is when the to-do list gets real. So I'm in the James and Teddy's room. I don't know if we've talked too much. I think, you know, I think Sarah mentioned either in the vlog earlier today or yesterday, how with the frigid polar vortex that's here, how that's affecting our apartment because our building's over 100 years old and we have this old steam heat. Well, James's room is always warm. And so typically we have this closed, but we have it open now and it's like 80 degrees in this room. But that also dries the air out like crazy. So to combat that, we have humidifiers. Um, but one of our rooms is in like a an addition that came on to that was added to the building years later. So it's actually frame, not the brick hundred year old part, but a frame. And I just don't think it's as good as insulated. And the steam heat radiator in there is smaller. It's like that same size, and so it's just not big enough for the the room that it is in. And so it gets like, it's been getting very cold, like to the point where like we've sent screenshots because our baby monitors have thermom thermostats or thermometers on them. And so like, we'll get like two low temperature warnings. And so say we've taken screenshots and sent that to our, our building management company being like, hey, it is too cold. I don't know if you can do anything or if that's just the nature of the architecture and this, this the heat, heating system because of how like record breakingly cold it is. But um, finally today, they kept like checking on the boiler, checking on the boiler, and finally today they like an hour ago came by and dropped off like a space heater that we can use, so that we have that in our room. Um, so that should help there. But James's room is it's crazy because like this room will be 80 degrees, 80, 85, and then our room will be like 50, and then our living room will be like 60 because the windows right there, and the, like literally we have the frozen seals around all of the, the windows um, right now, like frost on the inside because of how cold it is outside. Um, but at the end of the day, we're happy, we're healthy, 
there's a lot of people that have worse challenges with the weather so we're thinking of you guys and absolutely most importantly evie's home i mean she's safe and she's healthy and she's eating and going to the bathroom and in good spirits so that's the big success but we're we're mitigating the weather right now with our situation of our cool old apartment building there we have it humidity isn't it crazy like the two like polar opposites of where i like to live here i am trying to pour humidity into the air and then down in florida i like want nothing but the humidity to go away going on our coffee table one day we'll get this thing refinished all right it is late but we had a late lunch slash dinner and we were supposed to be kind of like how we're doing coffees on mondays we're doing shakuri boards on fridays we never did our shakuri board so we're having it now as a late night snack as we clean and prepare for tomorrow hosting our family christmas eve party so here is the setup we've got some italian salami we've got some, some prosciutto over here we've got some Goat cheese with, what is that? Cranberry on it. That's gonna be more like a schmear. And then right here we've got a cheddar cheese with scotch, bone chili, and red peppers. And then some like crisp um, bread, greds, greds? Bread right there. Looking good. Do we appear? Look at my hair. A little tired. <laughs> it's what, 142? In the morning? Yeah, Jamesy has a haircut at 8.30 and her family's coming over at 4. So we have that much time to get what we need done and take care of two children. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. It's Christmas Eve Eve. That's why, name, that's why mm -hmm. we named Tomorrow, Eve. It's Christmas Eve. Yeah. And Eve's name is Eve because of Christmas Eve. Right? One of the reasons. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>